Hello, my name is Matthew, and I'm creating this video in order to help out people who might have problems creating numbering systems or lists of, of certain kinds within Microsoft Office Word. I think it can be generally agreed upon that Microsoft's software stinks in, gen in general, and that especially when you need to do something or want to do something nine times out of ten you either cannot do it within in word or the functionality is buried and hidden so deeply that it's it's by the time you find it you might as well have just have manually done what you were going to do in the first place however some of these things these functionalities do actually exist uh, and they are helpful to people. And since I discovered this uh, and could not find anything on my own on the internet, any sort of video or description and forums, I decided to make this video to help someone. This is an example. This is an example I'm talking about. This, first of all, let me say that I'm using, still using Microsoft Office Word 2007. So what I'm showing you applies to 2007. I cannot vouch for whether it will apply for apply to 2010, 2013, the other iterations that have come later, um, or Microsoft 360, with which I have very little um, experience, except that I know that I hated it. But anyways, so this is 2007 first off. So not everything might work exactly the same way, but you never know. You know, it might help there might be some things that do tie into more recent versions. So here I have a test that I'm creating. I'm a teacher um, by uh, trade and, and by vocation. Uh, and so part of teaching includes making a lot of tests. And I use a lot of multiple choice in my tests. I, I also have a lot of questions. So this is a version of a test that I created and uh, it doesn't matter what the information is. I, I usually teach religion and theology, but that's beside the point. This could be history. This could be anything. So don't worry about the information. Um, we're, I'm, more you should focus on how to do what I'm doing here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you first the numbering scheme. I'm going to highlight each question that I want to number. Some of these are definitions. A lot of these are definitions. Some of these are just questions, but these are all multiple choice. Okay, so on these two pages, I've highlighted all of these questions which I want to number. And I should also uh, choose this one up here. You'll notice that I have, I have already, I have a pre-existing list of numbers for questions up here which ends at question 31 okay now if I just highlighted every question on the test and went up here to the numbering functionality that Microsoft that word has here um, then it would be easy there would be no problem I would just click what I wanted and everything would be numbered in order but the problem is is that in my case some of my tests are so long and there are so many questions that I stop at certain places and then I, ha I want to restart and I want the numbering system to be in order and believe me you can be pulling your hair out trying to find figure out how to make word re um, restart for example here the next question I want put that away um, next question I want I want to be numbered as question 32 and so on question 32 33 34 etc and so forth so how do I do that because there can be problems I'm not going to show you the problems because that's irrelevant uh, I should mention immediately that what I showed you up here is the as they say the quick access toolbar Okay, where I've already put a little button here for accessing numbering. If you do not have that, then you need to go into your home button and under the paragraph, under the paragraph section, you will find these, of course, unnamed tabs, little symbols everywhere that, of course, tell you nothing. 
unless maybe you hover over it, it'll tell you something, but in this case, it's not. Okay, so just so, so you know, and maybe I'll just stay here. So I want to make these into questions. All right, question Q1. And there you go. And as you can see, Office has changed, uh, or excuse me, has inserted a list of numbers for my questions. Q1, Q2, Q3, et cetera, and so forth. Question 1, question 2, question 3. However, you can see immediately the problem, I'm sure. Question 31, and then goes to question 1. Well, that's confusing. That's wrong. That's a mistake. Uh, I certainly would not want to put that out there for my students. Um, so what do I do with this? Is there is there an easy workaround? If you go online, let me warn you, you will find a lot of places on message boards where it tells you, for example, to go into, and I'll go back into home, go into um, the numbering format, and go down and set numbering value, and mess with this. As I said before, or at least as uh, I started to say before, you will pull your hair out trying to use this because nine times out of ten, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. So this is what you do. You go and, and you hover over the highlighted portion, which has already been numbered. That's important to know. You, I have already chosen to create a list of numbers. And I want to right-click to bring up the menu. And you will notice all of these, um, all of these options, none of which we need except for in this section. And the one we want is continue numbering. Click on that, boom. And you see that it automatically changes it to 32, 33, 34, exactly as it should be. Um, now, I prefer for formatting purposes, as you see up here, uh, for the indent, I prefer to just click on the square at the bottom and move everything over to the side, it just so it doesn't look messy to me. Okay, that is number one. Okay, what about the answers, though? These are the questions, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, etc., and so forth. Okay, but what about the answers okay let me just take one of these these questions and show you let me make it a little bit larger uh, the text a little bit larger so you can see zoom in here okay let's do question 33 I'll highlight it so you can see when composing the Septuagint which word was chosen to translate the Hebrew word kahal the Hebrew kahal don't as I said, don't worry about the information. If you took the course with me, of course, you should know what it is. <laughs> but you know, whatever. Uh, do not worry about that. This is, it doesn't matter. Okay, e even if the question were gibberish, these are the answers I give: Yehoshua, Ecclesia, Kahal, Paratheke. All right. Again, don't worry about what they mean. Okay, it's for all you know, they're gibberish. Now, I want these are four answers. I like to I use an answer sheet. So I will number these. That's not the correct word, but you know what I know. Make a know what I mean. Make a numbering list with letters, and I prefer to use capital letters: A, B, C, A period, B period, C period, D period. That's my choice. Whatever. Okay, fine. There you go. So it creates the list. Okay. Um, now, if I have to do the, had to do this for every question, again, I, you'd rip your hair out trying to do this for every question. Um, because, for example, let me just show you. Let's say I'm going to highlight these answers. There are four of them. There are four answers here. There are four answers here. So it should all be A, B, C, D. So I go up here for numbering to create my list. And as you can see, I'm not even going to select it, I'm just hovering over the format. You can see it does it all in order. It does, there's no break from question to question. So it goes A, B, C, D, and then it goes down E, F, G, H, which is fine. That's the alphabet. That's alphabetical order. Um, the problem is I don't want that. You know, that, that doesn't help me at all. Um, I want consistency. I want everything to be A, B, C, D, okay? Uh, the last thing you want on a test is to really confuse your students, okay? Nevertheless, and this is going to sound counterintuitive, 
I have to select this. So I'll select the, the numbering or the, the lettering, I should say, to be this. Okay? Now, follow me here. This is where it gets similar to what we did with, or what I did with the numbering, the question numbering, but different. Okay? A, B, C, D. That's exactly as I want it in this question. That's fine. Okay? I go down to the first so choice, E, and I put the cursor there and I right click on it. And again, we're going to go to this section of the list. Okay, we don't want continue numbering because these are not numbers. Okay, that applies only to lists of numbers. But here, where it says restart at A, all right, that sounds, in that sounds helpful. And I click that. Ah! Okay, so now you've noticed that there's been a, a break here, and it's restarted. E is changed to A, B, C, D, exactly as I want it. Now, if you look down, you'll say, yes, but Matthew, all it did was push the A down, push the alphabetical order down. Well, as I said, Microsoft mostly works. Okay, this you're just going to have to deal with that. Um, uh, what you have to do is for each one, you have to just keep pushing, in a sense, pushing the order down until you reach the end. And so let's say, for example, so let's do this again. I, I'm on E, Overseer, I right click, I say put, choose restart at A, A, B, C, D. Okay, now let's, ass let's assume, for sake of argument, let's assume for sake of argument that this... I'll get this out of here, that this was the end of the test, the end of my list. I had no more options. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that you just basically are pushing things down, okay? That disappears because there are no other options. There's no, the list has ends at D. Who cares what's going on in, in Microsoft Word's mind or matrix or whatever after this, okay? Yes, you're essentially pushing down the list, okay? But that's how it works, and it will save you a lot of agony. Okay, so these are two things that I have, you know, figured out just by you know poking and, and pawing around in uh, Microsoft Office Word. If it does not work for uh, later iterations, as I said, like 2013, etc., I apologize. I hope that it does because the button was still in those iterations. Um, I'm, I can't, haven't tested this on Office 360, so I don't know. Um, but I hope that this will make things a lot easier, uh, especially for teachers like me who frequently need to do these things for tests and need to want to do them with relative speed and ease. Thank you. Have a nice day.